Hi everyone, this is Abdul Karim, and today I'm starting a very new series of Swift UI APIs or you can say modifiers. So in this series, I will be sharing a short tutorial in which I will be uh, like uh, sharing the modifiers and APIs which will be used to enhance your application in terms of user experience and consumer ease. So let's start with the very first topic which is floating menu and how you can arrange your items in a grid. So let's get started. So first of all, I have empty Swift file. In this Swift file, I'm going to import Swift UI. After importing Swift UI, I'm going to create a struct and in this struct, I'm going to add a body. Now I'm going to add a V stack. So this V stack is vertical stack. And if I talk about vertical stack, vertical stack aligns item vertically. So if I need to align items vertically, I will use V stack. And if I need to align items horizontally, I will use H stack. stack. So next, I'm going to create a text and I will give a heading to it. I will add some modifiers to it, which will be bold. And I will also add a font size to it. So let's say large title. Now, in order to preview this, we have hash preview. And after adding preview, we will see a Canva will appear. And in this Canva, whatever we are going to code on our left will appear on the right. So here we have a floating menu and a V stack and it's appearing over here. Next, we are going to create a scroll view. And in this scroll view, we are going to create a lazy V grid. Now lazy V grid requires grid item. So in order to add grid item, we are going to initialize grid item first. So here, let's initialize columns. And in this columns, I'm going to give grid item. Like if we are creating a grid for our layout, we do need to specify the number of columns. So we will do that over here. Now let's say I'm going to create grid item flexible and with a spacing of 10. Now it says that it has, we, we are creating a grid and in that grid we have just one column, but let's say I need two columns. So in order to add two columns, I'm going to add one more grid item. Now we have added two grid items, but in the preview, we can see just one column. Why is that? So because we haven't added columns to our lazy V grid. Now let's add columns to our lazy V grid. And after adding columns to our lazy V grid, now we have specified two columns, which we have initialized over here in our columns array. Now let's say if I need to add three columns, so I'm going to add one more grid item and I'm also going to add one more text placeholder. Now it's going to divide our placeholder our grid or our layout into three columns. As you can see, we have one placeholder, second and third placeholder in one row and the, our grid is divided into three columns. So now let's move back to the two columns and let's remove the content. And now we are going to create a rounded rectangle. All right. So now we just saw that we have arranged our grid into two columns, right? Now the number of rows determined by the numbers, number of items we have in our lazy V grid. So right now I'm going to add 10 items in our lazy V grid for that. I'm going to call for each and I'm going to create a rounded rectangles in those for each. Let's give it a height and a foreground color of sand. So now it's going to create a 10 rounded rectangles and in order to make it clean, let's add a padding to it. Now we have 10 rounded rectangles, which are arranged in our layout. Let's say if I need to make it in three columns, what I'm going to do is simply add a grid item at the top. So now it's going to divide a grid into three columns for one, two, three. It's one row has three columns. Now let's see. Yeah. So here it is. Now in one row, we have three columns. Now let's revert this to two columns. Now let's say this is gallery and a client needs to add the delete and added button to it and also share share button but we don't have much space on our screen. So the floating menu works best here. So let's see how to implement. We just need to add the context menu modifier. And after adding context menu, it will give an option of the menu items. Now, if we need three buttons, we need, we will just add three buttons to it. And in this context menu, we will have button of added, share and delete. Now, if I'm going to press it, it's going to show whether you need to add it this view, share or delete. This is how you can implement a floating menu and you can align items in a grid for your layout. Thank you so much for watching. This was it for the first tutorial. Stay tuned for more APIs.